In this video, we are going to discuss the recent discovery of molecules like carbon dioxide, methane, and possibly dimethyl sulfide by JWST in the atmosphere of the mini Neptune K218b, and what this means in the search for extraterrestrial life in the galaxy. In other words, we are going to answer the question, did JWST find life in the exoplanet K218b? Methane and carbon dioxide can be produced by living organisms. However, their detection in the atmospheres of exoplanets is not confirmation of life in those planets as those molecules can be produced by non-biological processes such as geological events like volcanoes and hydrothermal activities. However, dimethyl sulfide is a completely different story in that this molecule is only known to be made by living processes alone on Earth. Here on Earth, this molecule is made by marine organisms called phytoplankton and some bacteria, and is released into the atmosphere by these organisms. It is thought that what we associate as the smell of the ocean is partly due to this compound. Since this compound is only known to be made by living organisms, a definitive and confirmed finding of dimethyl sulfide in the atmosphere of an exoplanet by JWST or any other telescope is thought to be a strong indication of life in that planet, to the best of our knowledge. So, did JWST find life in the exoplanet K218b? The answer is not yet. While the findings of carbon dioxide and methane are confirmed and are interesting in their own right, the finding of dimethyl sulfide requires more observations. Thus, more time should be allocated to the researchers to point the telescope to the star and planet to make more observations and measurements. Since the dawn of time, thinking men and women have wondered if there is or has there been life somewhere else other than our planet Earth. If the answer is yes, then the data should be resolute, definitive, and unquestionable. Links to all documents used to make this video are in the description below. To learn if JWST data can solve the mystery regarding Tabby's star, whose unusual dimming was speculated to be caused by megastructures built by an advanced extraterrestrial civilization, please click here. To learn what Hubble and JWST saw in the TRAPPIST-1 system in the search of habitable worlds, please click here. Thanks for watching. Cheers!